May the priests of God be with us. Please say amen. So this is the time for Bible study. Uh, I told you that we'll be talking about deep uh, topics uh, which are common that people ask themselves question, many questions about among Christians and unchristians. And I'm thankful to God that you are attentive to know the truth from God. Uh, previously, we, we saw what the Bible talks about incest. So, but today in particular, we are going to talk about uh, abortion, although we are supposed to talk about homosexuality. But even that will be covered as well. So, I want to announce to you this. When God wants to heal you, He sends a word to you. And He enables you to understand. And to get a revelation. And then when you get an understanding, uh, you are actually protected. But when you receive that truth, so therefore what we are learning nowadays that will be useful to you personally and it also goes beyond to, even to those who are not yet saved even though they have not yet known the truth but you need to protect from them sins that God hates so I can't request you to love people and prevent them from doing evil. So let's start. So abortion. So which, what, are we, what do we mean by abortion? So the abortion that I'm going to teach about. So it is deciding deliberately to put an end to a, a child who has been conceived is deliberately putting an end to the life of uh, a, 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 an embryo that has been conceived. Uh, when you do it deliberately and intentionally to put an end to the baby in the womb. Okay. So there is an institute that does research about abortion. Which it is called Gatmacher uh -huh. Institute. Buriange na jisomango Gatmacher Institute. Nikuri atitwa mu America. So it is based in the U.S. called Gatmacher. And now the statistics that I'm going to tell you that is where I got them okay. from. Okay. So in the U.S. in 2014, there were cases of abortion of 926,000 in that particular year. And then cases of abortion in 2017, there were 862,000 in U.S. again. While uh, in the U.K. cases of abortion in 2017 were 97,000. While in 2018, the cases of abortion were two, uh, 205,295. So now, the last statistics that we have concerning Rwanda, that is back in 2009, there were cases of 60,000 cases of abortion in 2009 alone. So which means as today, uh, those numbers have increased. May God help us. Now the numbers have increased. Uh, um, abortion uh, intentionally. 
dusome bibiri so let's read in the bible rekare aho twumva iki imana ivuga now we're going to see what god says kuva igice cy'a 21 mu rongo 22 na 23 so we're going to read in exodus chapter 21 from verse 22 to 23 ubundi nda ivuye mo nyirayo atabigize mu ruhare ntabwo yitwa mu cyongeza wita miscarriage no gukura minda nabyo mu kinyarwanda ariko byo bibaho umuntu atabipanze uh, because abortion can happen unintentionally which is called miscarriage in english kandi abantu ni barwana bakababaza umugoro utwite akavana minda ariko ntagira ikindi aba ntazabure kuriha icyo umugabo w'uwo mugore amurihishije cyose azarihe nkuko abacamanza bategetse Ariko ni hagira ikindi aba uzategeke ko ubugingo buhorerwa ubundi If men fight and hurt a woman with a child so that she gives birth prematurely yet no harm follows he shall surely be punished accordingly and the woman's husband is imposed on him and he shall pay as the judges determine but if any harm follows then you shall give life for life Iryo jambo dusomye reshaka kukubwira ngo Imana ikomeye ku buzima kuva bugeze munda. Ah so what we, are, we have just read shows that God is very keen when there is conception of life in the, even in the womb. No kuvuga ngo So it means that ibaze ngo umuntu narwa narwana agakora ku mugoro utwite. Imagine if a person fights and touches a woman who is pregnant. Nabyo mu mategeko y'Imana bizarahanwaga. Actually there was a punishment for that even according to the law. Kukobazirikanaga ku umuntu atwite. Because they kept in mind that that person was pregnant. No neho bongeraho ngo. Now they added that. Ari ku utwite noneho nagira icyaba. If something happens now if there is harm to that woman who is pregnant, and if there is abortion or miscarriage, when the woman and the husband did not do it intentionally so life for life so church of christ we cannot change the word of god my desire is that in omega church we may walk together knowing that we are sustained by the word of God. Tugenda ne muzi neza ko ikintu kiturinda kidutunze icyo duhagazeho nta urushundi kumenya Imana ukurusha kumenya Imana nuza kumenya nuza kurusha kumenya ijambo ry'Imana. So you should know that what sustain us is the word of God. The one who is greater than you is the one who knows the word of God better than you. Iyi Imana ivuzu ijambo. So when God says something, ntabwo ibihindura kubera wowe. God does not change because of you alone. Ntabwo izabisiba kubera wowe. God is not going to arrest this because of you. Ijambo ry'Imana ni ijambo ry'Imana. So the word of God remains the word of Uko God. Ukonuko biba bimeze. And that's how it is. Ikizo ushobora gukora no kubwira Imana uti nshoboza nange nakira kuri kwawe. So the good thing you can say Lord enable me to receive your truth. Kandi radushoboza. And God enables us. Dukomeze. So let's proceed. Bibiliya ivuga iki kubuzima umuntu butangira rya So when does life start according to the Bible Ni bande bumva bariho bumva icyongereza gusa hano Who are the people who understand English Catherine namubonye Ako Catherine nasigandusha ikinyarwanda Okay ndagira ngo ibyanditswe bitaducika dusome mu kinyarwanda abavuga icyongereza bajye bababwira aho mugiye gusoma nabavuga igifaransa cyangwa urundi rurimi mujye mujya kuhareba so in order to save time we'll be talking about the scriptures now those who speak in other languages will be reading in the meantime tujye gusoma zaburi 139 umurongo wa 13 wa 16 gusa so we're going to read psalm 139 and then we're going to read only verse 13 and 16 Kuko ari wowe wandemye waremye ingingo zanjye wanteranirije mu nda ya mama wo ni David 16 ati nkiri urusoro amaso yawe yarandebaga mu gitabo cyawe icyo gihe deja hari handitswe mwo iminsi yange yose yategetswe itarabaho nomwe Imani shimwe cyane My God be praised the Did you get something from this passage? Urusoro muzi cyari cyo Do you know what embryo means? Aha. Ni embryo nyine. Urusoro n'urusoro nyine. 
munda urusoro ni nikakanu katari kagaragaza ibipande byose so when it is still a substance when all the parts are not yet visible ijambo ry'Imana turisanzemo ngo Imana yari ituze so now we can see that even god knew us even ngo ni minsi yo kuzabaho yari yize even our days of life god knew them well ijambo ngo tukubaho Imana izi minsi yacu yo kubaho my desire is that we may have reverence for the god who knows all our days ngo uzi ku Imana izi minsi yawe yo kubaho so please live knowing that god knows your days of living kandi nkuko zaburi 192 ivuga usaba imana kugira ubwenge bwo kubaho umunsi ko wonde and then according to psalms 92 ask god to give you wisdom to yesaya 1495 reka umve na yesaya we are also going to read in isaiah 49 verse 5 iyi mirongo yose ndayishakira kubahamiriza ku ibyo mvuga byanditse muri bibiliya so i'm quoting all these scriptures to as an evidence that what i'm saying is written in the bible none rero umva ko uwiteka vuga Ari we wabu wambumbiye munda ya mama ngo nzabe umugaragu mugarurire Yakobo Israeli amuteranirizweho kuko nduwo kubahwa mu maso y'uwiteka kandi imana yanje imbereye imbaraga Yes, Praise Jesus indeed. Ngo ari munda ya nyina. When he was still in his mother's womb. Imana yari yarangije kumuvugaho. God had already spoken about him. Icyampa ngo wizere neza ko Imana ubundi yari zicyo zabacyo. My desire is that you may be you may believe that God knew ahead of time what you're supposed to be. Wabaho utinya. And out of that you will live a uh, feeling. Wabaho uvuga kuti Imana niba igihe nari ndi munda ya mama wari uzicyo nzabacyo naba ndicyo uyu munsi. Now you can ask yourself if God knew what I was supposed to be when I was still in my mother's womb did I, was it materialized today nabandiho nkora ibyo washakaga ko nkora ndiho ubuzima wifuzaga ko mbaho am i living according to the life that have planned for me ahead of time abacamanza 13 now we're going to read in Judges uh, chapter 13. Now this is just as an evidence that it is written in the Bible. We are going to start from uh, 3 to 5. So it says, Maraika uiteka yiyereka uwo mugore aramubwira ati doro uri ngumba nti wigeze kubyara ari kuzasaminda ubyara umwana w'umuhungu. Nuko ndakwinginze wirinde kunywa vino cyangwa igisindisha kandi ntukarye ikintu cyose gihumanya kuko kuko uzasaminda uzasaminda ukabyara umuhungu kandi ntihazagira umwogosha kuko wa mwana azaba umunaziri ahereye akiva munda ya nyina kandi niwe uzatangira gukiza abisiraeli amaboko yaba filistia imani shimwe chani may god be praised indeed uyungu yubavuga gani samson so actually here they're talking about samson yari yare mewe kuzar guanya aba filistia and he was born in order to fight against the philistines ili teje kori yaba naziri now this law of the nazarite ni teje kori jaha mnyaga abahama gawe baga shirgu wa kuruhande ni imana wa kerezgu ichi nurunak it showed those that has been consecrated for a particular ministry. Imani bugira nyina. So now God spoke to his mother. Nde atangara kukuta na bugiyese. Actually I'm amazed that uh, God did not speak to his father. Isenu umurinzi uumunga na ninda na nyina. Because he was suppo supposed to be there to protect the child and the, ma and the mother. Ariko niyo babugira se. Wenda nyina yari gucha kuruhanda kangwa kavinu. Uh, but if they would have spoken to the father. Maybe the, 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 the wife would have uh, taken alcohol. Imana ni imana yaba goreba tukwiti. So it is God of of women who are pregnant. And God knows there are instructions concerning a pregnant woman. So he told him he should not take alcohol. Or everything that can defy a child as the child still is still So what does this mean, friends of God? So it means that God knows the child even when he or she is still in the womb. Uh, many among us who, has, who have this revelation, we even pray for the child when the child is in the womb. Now, this word you have received it in your ears as 
abahungu and also uh, young men riguye mu matwi yabatarabyara and even those who have not yet given birth sengera umwana uzabyara so pray for the child that they are going to bear mwatureho ibyiza and confess good things tega matwi imana umenye iki imana ishaka ku mwana izaguha be attentive to go to know what god wants you to have yes ashimwe cyane praise jesus indeed mm -hmm. ndakomeje so i'm proceeding ibi byose ushobora kuvuga ngo ni sezerano rya kera you may say all these things are written in the old testament murabizi bingi bimbe babwira yuko hateye inyigisho zivuga ngo isezerano rya kera rya ri rya kera nyine i'm saying this because there are false teachings uh, saying that the old testament is uh, should not be considered ya iyo twigisha burya hari ibintu kubwo umwuka wera yongera akakwibutsa ati niki gihirike kuko hari uwicara kibaza ati eh ubisezerano rya kera ntiryarangiye so when we teach you there are certain things we need to destroy because someone may be saying the old testament is over aba galatia ari mwe 15 twumve paulo so galatians uh, chapter 1 from verse 15 we're going to see what paul said ariko imana yantoranije nkiri mu nda ya mama ngo nyiri he ngo imana yantoranije nyiri he aha munda ya mama impamagara kubwo ubuntu bwayo mumere yesa mashi so give a hand clap to god because you can see that paul was chosen by god when he was still in his mother so i believe that you also believe in the same thing because i believe in this when i was still in my mother's womb god had already spoken now even paul is testifying this to you what paul is testifying to you is that you now even paul is testifying this to you is that you now even paul is testifying this to you is that you now careful about how you live that you may kneel down and ask God to guide you on how you are supposed to live my desire is that you live the days that are remaining according to the will of God because your days are numbered and they are all before God so you should not be foolish and you should not take them wherever you want because every day counts so you need to have to 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 wake up and know that there is no one else who has the key for your life. but the one who has it is the one who is speaking to you he knows you even when you are still in your mother's womb so you may be in your mother's womb or 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 in your abantu bisindisha batari banatwita nibwa kuyobewe ko ari byo bikwica now if is even preventing people to take alcohol today that they didn't know that it is alcohol that defiles you oh we take our tools the lord knows us reka tumenye na yesu so let's also know jesus luka rimwe we're going to read in luke chapter 1 mirongo ine na rimwe kugera kuri mirongo ine na kane from 41 to 44 maze elizabeth yumvise indamutso ya maria umwana asimbukira mu ndaye Elizabeth yuzuzwa umwoka wera avuga ijwi rirenga ati mu bagore urahirwa nimbuto yo munda yawe irahirwa mbese ibi nabikesha iki ko nyina w'umwami wanjye ngendereye ijwi ryinda mutso yawe ryinjiye mu matwi yanjye umwana simbaguritswa munda yanjye no kwishima haleluya Yesu ashimwe Praise Jesus Yesu ari munda ya Maria. Now Jesus was in the womb of Mary. Yohana ari munda ya Elizabeth. And at the same time uh, John was in the womb of Elizabeth. Ndagira ngo mwibuke bari abagore barababyara. I want to remind you that they were cousins. Umwe ahuye nundi. Now when they all met umwoka wera hitasobanura ko hari ibintu byijuru biri mu nda yabo now the holy spirit made it clear that there is a divine seed in their wombs umwoka wera the holy spirit umwoka wera the holy spirit works ngo umwana simbuka yishima now the baby leaped out of joy bibiri ratubwira ngo umwana arasimbuka kuko yishimye yohana ari mu nda yishimira ko ahuye na yesu barasuhuzanije now uh, john leaped for joy because of jesus and they greeted one another if you are attentive you give a hand clap to jesus 
nzajya nyabasaba kuko nta bundi buryo tugira bwo gushima imana i be asking you to clap your hands because you have no other way to, to thank god turayatanga of course we do give money urukundo dukunda abantu turarutanga and even love towards others we give it ariko ni kubwira ijambo ry'ukuri but when you hear the the word of the truth from god utsinda, even though you may be challenged by that yihamashi. so please give uh, uh, clap your hands to god i should do something to god to acknowledge that you have understood so now even uh, the baby was so the bible now is revealing to us that it is possible for a baby in the womb emotion uh, the, the, even the child when the child is still in the mother's womb can have, uh, express emotions so we are still talking about abortion now try to imagine when you put an end someone's life now try to see all these passages that we have read now try to imagine when you put uh, an end the life of a child even though that child may be one week old but that child is counted by god it should not put an end to the life of that ndakwinginga wumve kubgawe ariko wumve no kubwi inshuti zawe nabantu bawe mujye mubabwira i plead with you you need to be attentive for your own sake and also for others and you need to inform them as well ese bibiri ivuga iki ku mwana wasamwe kugahatu so what does the bible talk about a child who's conceived through molestation kuki bibintu nabyo mbizanye uh, how comes I'm also bringing out this? Because this is also part of the questions that the people may ask themselves. So let's read in the Bible. We're going to read in Deuteronomy uh, 24 verse 16. Base babana Pardon. Yeah. Base babana Nibakitswe babahora abana babo kandi abana nibakitswe babahora basi umuntu wese yicishwe n'ike cyaho ntabwo aruko it's not the fact that umuntu yafashwe ku ngufu a person has been raped cyangwa inda nyira yatayishatse mu buryo bumwe cyangwa ubundi or because a particular person doesn't want to be pregnant bivuga ngo so that it means that uwo muntu ntabazwe uh, that person is not counted ntabwo umwana kwiriye kuzira ibitekerezo byase um, a child should not be a victim of his father's thoughts ntabwo umwana kwiriye kuzira ibyemezo by'ababyeyi a child should not be a victim of decisions taken by parents. And actually, we are not even talking about the child in the womb only. Even those that were brought forth. And that is why the Bible says when people want to divorce, they need to think twice. Because our parents may think that that is the best way to but sometimes they do not think about children now even a child in the womb so the bible says that child should not be a victim of his father's decision so everyone should uh, be held uh, accountable for his own sins amen please say amen amen now the last uh, scripture kumena maraso yutari hurubanza bikurura uburakari bw'Imana kandi nabyo bikazanira ababikoze akaga ndasubiramo so i repeat uh, shedding uh, innocent blood it brings the wrath of god um, and then it also brings trouble to those who do it gukura minda nokumena maraso yutari hurubanza so abortion is shedding innocent blood bikurura uburakari bw'Imana it also brings god wrath nabyo bikazanira uwabikoza kaga and it also brings trouble to the one who has done it zaburi jana na gatandatu 37 kugera kuri 42 reka wumva aho byanditse so now let's see where it is written in psalm 106 37 to 42 wumva kuno imana yarakariye ubwoko bwa Israeli abantu bayo bwite yakundaga to see how god was angry towards israel his own people that he loved 
ngo batambiraga abadayimoni abahungu babo n'abakobwa babo bavushaga maraso yabatari hurubanza niyo maraso yabahungu babo naye abakobwa babo batambiye ibishushanyo byikanane ibimana byikanane igihugu gihumanywa niki na maraso nuko banduzwa n'imirimo yabo bagenda basambanisha ingeso zabo bituma umujinya wowe kucanwa ku bwoko bwe yanguru nuko mwanduwe abashyira mu maboko y'abanyamahanga abanzi babo barabatwara kandi ababisha babo barabahata baragomorwa baba munsi y'ukuboko kwabo imana yacu dufashe cyane my god help us indeed murumva torero rya kristo so please Listen to this church of Christ. How comes we are learning about these things? Uh, today for some young ladies, um, abortion for them is okay. But when we are talking about uh, those young ladies who are bought, we should not put aside uh, young men who pregnanted them. Want you also handle imana, so as people of God, uh, we need to balance and be realistic. Uh, it is not the, the lady to bear all the, 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 all the burden. So in this world, we usually focus on the lady. In this world, uh, we focus on the one who has been uh, pregnant. But God is in the spirit. God is in the spiritual Realm. For something to be visible, it starts in the spiritual realm. So now God sees the uh, if for example a lady decides to abort God is also looking at the young man who did it so what I want to tell you which is written in the word of God uh, all these things they grieve God so what is the most important thing about it uh, shedding blood of an innocent person Shedding blood of an innocent person. Shedding blood of an innocent person. And this is what makes God angry. Something else that brings the wrath of God is that, you know, there should be blood for blood. So when blood is shed, Unless there is prayer and repentance and calling upon God and also sanctifying yourself. Otherwise, when blood is shed, blood for blood. So when now God wants to interrupt that vicious cycle, there should be repentance. If a young lady has aborted, for example, when you get to know the truth, you need to ask for forgiveness from God. If it's a young man who pregnant a lady and did not get married, and then he says, we're just joking, have a good time, that young man needs to ask for forgiveness. Asking for forgiveness is not going to say the lady and say let's ask for forgiveness from God. It means each person is supposed to learn to ask for forgiveness individually. Because this grieves God. And God wants to take a to take all this from all those sins uh, so that the devil can claim for what has been because done. even the devil in the spiritual realm knows what you have done and he knows the doors that are open but we know how to close those doors in Jesus Christ uh, to confess to ask for forgiveness and then the blood of Jesus hallelujah 
Imana yacu ishimwe cyane. Our God be praised indeed. Muri ibyo byose rero ukuri ku jambo ry'Imana nkuko mu byibaza kuragaragaye. So in all these things the truth from God is very clear. Muri conclusion cyangwa mu myanzuro. So as we conclude mumenye ngo Imana you should know that God ubuzima bw'umwana naho bwa bimpanuka ku mubyeyi ntabwo ari impanuka ku mana. Even though the life of a child may be an accident to a parent, but it is not accident to God. Are you still uh, following me? Whether you were raped in a train, for example. Whether you were drunk. Life. It can be an accident. It starts maybe an accident to a parent. But it is not an accident to a parent. Now, don't we face things that happen to us beyond our control? You may realize that your poverty is beyond your control. You may realize that you have conflict with your husband and you don't know why. There are so many things that we go through and uh, the, just because it is, they are beyond our control. May our God help us. So there is no accident according to God. So what I'm telling you is not just news. This is not just a newspaper that I'm talking about the word of God. So we are children of light so that we can go and help others through the word of God. So that the wrath of God may not be on your daughter and son and others and even other things that people face out of ignorance. So often and in many places uh, this act of abortion it comes from sins of fornication and adultery. Like other good laws of God that we find in the Bible now, instead of facing the consequences, actually, we need to prevent ourselves from facing them. And obey God. And observe the laws of God. Because the laws of God are there to protect us. They are our protection. And even actually government laws are there to protect us. So now the laws of God are there to protect us. They protect us. And they protect those who stand on them. So the, you cannot be exempted from the law of God just because you are so educated. You cannot be exempted from the laws of God just because you pray seven times a day. So the law of God is the law of God. Now the good news as we end. God forgives all sins including even abortion when it is done intentionally. So today you may say you did it when you didn't know God. You may say you were impregnated a lady and you left her alone. But today you need to get rid of that blood. Because now you are aware of the Aho truth. So now the fact that you have received the truth. When the truth comes people reconcile. With God. And God forgives Zios. all sins. All sins. All sins. Zios. All sins. Yes, I are ero, yara vivuze, so Isaiah said uh, this in 4325. <laughs> Give a hand clap to Jesus. So please stand up so that we can pray to God.
ntabwo nirirwa nkubwiriza icyo ukora I will not tell you what you are supposed to do Ukuri wakumvise You have heard the truth Icyo mbakundira kandi nkundira inzu y'Imana nuko iyo twumvise ukuri tubadusigaje kukugenderamo and what I like about the house, or the house of God, when we hear the truth, what remains is to walk according to what So that when we will be before the throne of God, we will not be held accountable for the things that you have already uh, listened to. So put your hand on your heart. Where things of life uh, are. Mwizina rya Yesu Kristo duhagaze imbere yawe dukunda ibyo twigisha amana yacu dukunda ibyo wahamije dukunda ukuri washyizeho amagambo yawe wayashiriyeho mwami amategeko yawe wayashiriyeho kudukunda kuturinda ngo ni tuyagenderemo mwami tugira ubuzima tugira ubugingo ndetse ubugingo bwinshi la vie en abondance bugwire bube bwinshi mwami butera imbere manura dukunda Mwami mana utubwiye icyo wavuze kugukura minda Mwami wanje mana yanje abari hano bose baba bashaka kumenya uko kuri mwami wanje ni wewe wavugana na buri muntu kugira ngo yiyarinye nkuko nibindi byose mwami udusaba ngo nitwihuze ni jambo ryawe ni wewe washoboza umuntu kwihuza nuko kuri mwami uwagucumuyeho muri ubu buryo uwashyigikiye abakura minda wabemereye Wabirengagije wateye inda watewe inda mwami ubabarire niba bagusabye imbabazi ariko ikirenze byose mana ababyeyi bari hano reka bigisha ukuri abana babo abavandimwe bari hano reka bigisha ukuri abavandimwe babo aho kugira ngo tujye duhangana mwami ni ingaruka mwami icyo ushaka nuko twamenye ukuri kwawe kukaturinda dukize mwami ingeso z'uburyo bwose Kiza mwama abantu ingeso z'ubusambanyi uburyo bwose bw'ubusambanyi buve imbere yabo buve mu buzima bwabo buve mu byo bavuga buve mu byo bakora mu nyifato mu migendere mu migenzereze bive mu mwizina rya Yesu mwami imana ishobora byose reka ukuri kuturinde reka imbabazi zawe mwami imana zigendane na buri muntu wese kandi he kugira umuntu wumva ngo ari bya bitababarirwa oya mana Uri imana ibabarira buri muntu wese iyaciye bugufa kemera uruharirwe mu byabaye ushimwe uhabwe icyubahiro komeza utwohereza ijambo rya uri dukiza komeza utwohereza ukuri kwawe kutubeshaho komeza wohereza umucyo wawe tubeshweho nawo ushimwe uhabwe icyubahiro mu izina rya Yesu amen